Jay, do you ever just have your cake and eat it too? No. Oh, well, these girls might not either. Hannah offered to go eat some ice cream. Mm. But the girls said no! We're on a diet, girl. Yeah, girl, we're trying to like be good. Sorry, we can't eat dairy products. We are lactose free. Oh, they get those... Yeah, we don't want to get the poops. So they went to a trendy restaurant. A trendy restaurant called Restaurant. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> to try their famous burgers. No cheese. You know how it goes. Mm, the gills. They were eating and chatting happily. Oh, those burgers look so good. I'm so hungry. They actually do. When Hannah started choking. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's cheese on her burger. Oh. She died before anyone could help her. Oh, no. They don't know the Heimlich maneuver. Mm, couldn't even enjoy the burger. Her burger. Fur burgers. Anyways. Whoa. The police came and checked their meal. They soon found a powerful poison in one of the products. Which ingredient was poisoned? Well, girl, we all know it's the cheese. Well, was Hannah the one asking to get ice cream? Yeah, Hannah was like, I want ice cream. And they were like, no, we're dairy-free. And we're going to poison your cheese. Yeah, exactly. Because they're catty and they're mean, mean girls. These are the plastics right here. All because she was being inconsiderate about being lactose intolerant? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry, me and Lisa. Jay, mm. the zombie apocalypse started all of a sudden. No, I got to get prepared. <laughs> yeah, you do. Jeff is the only survivor in his town. Who did you have to throw at the zombies to survive, yeah, why Jeff? this guy? <laughs> He's hiding in a building surrounded by hungry zombies. Now, this could be you one day, so you gotta pay close attention. Okay, I got it. They started breaking down the door. So scary. These are some goofy zombies. I could just punch these fools <laughs> in the face. Luckily, a helicopter with a rescue team is going to land on the roof. They're not coming for this guy. Take the three ladders up. Duh. Jeff should get to the roof as soon as possible. Just go straight up. Yeah, just go straight up. All the other ones are Look like Look up tricky. and you'll see the opening. What is the minimum amount of stairs he has to climb? Three. Wait, oh. no, there's no oh. ladder. Oh, there's no ladder on the... There's no floor. ladder at the top. Oh, oh okay, okay, wait, so, wait, wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he goes all the way to the left. Yeah, yeah, and then he goes, goes up. up two ladders, moves to the right. One, two, three, four, four. Five, 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 five. Five, what do you mean five? One, two, three, oh, four, four. Four, four, four. <sighs> Ooh. Scary. Stressful. Counting is hard, guys. Why does Ooh. it have to be a maze? Who built this building? Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's no doors Don't. on the side. Oh, we are so dumb. No, <laughs> I thought he could go all the way across. It's confusing <sighs> when it looks 2D like that. Whatever, man. I hate 2Ds. We wanted him to die. <laughs> we did. We meant that. Katie and Mike went for a nice summer swim. Well, good for you. She was preparing for a diving trip. Uh-oh, what's gonna happen to her? She can afford all that? No, oh, she's rich. So she wanted to practice. She's so rich, she was able to practice at home. Mike stayed on the shore reading a book. Yeah, right. Who reads? Yeah, right. He's reading upside down. Suddenly, he saw her underneath the water, hands up. Minutes later, she was dead. I thought she had her diving gear. You need a better coach for that practice. He loved her, but didn't save her. Like, come on. I love you, but not <laughs> enough to save you. I love you, but I need a change in my life. I love you, but I was gonna break up with you anyway. <laughs> I love you but you didn't even invite me to learn how to dive with you. You left me reading my book upside down on I, the beach. I love you, but you left me to read while you got to do all the cool <laughs> stuff. Why, Cassie? Why did he love her but didn't save her? Because... He... Oh, I know. What? It said in the beginning that they went for a nice summer swim, right? Yes. Dang, I was going to say that he didn't know how to swim, but that's out. I have an idea. She was quite close to the shore here, so it had to yeah. have been that she was being attacked by sharks or something. Oh, and he wanted no part of that? Yeah, he wanted nothing to do with it. He saw the shark fin and he's like, I don't want no problems. <laughs> I don't want no problems. Not me today. <laughs> Answer, he thought she was practicing holding her breath. Oh, oh well, that was so. that's so obvious. I, was like, I like how you put the shark in there. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't recognize the signs of drowning. Oh, yeah, you know, just waving your hands around, you know, I'm totally trying to hold my breath. <laughs> Mr. Mutton was killed in his own apartment. Oh, man, in his own? Mrs. Mutton called the police. She looks like a mutt. I was cooking soup. I was cooking some borscht. It tastes better than it sounds. <laughs> I was cooking fresh German potato soup. I was cooking some soup and my husband was drinking beer. It doesn't make me mad at all that he drinks beer. And suddenly, two men in masks broke broke into and they stabbed my husband to death. Jeez. Yeah, you know how it goes. Brutal. They tied me up. Can you believe it? But they didn't touch me because I'm hideous. <laughs> yeah. 
And then they grabbed all our money and left. It was two hours ago. I don't know how I got untied personally, but I called the police as soon as I untied the ropes. We're from Minnesota. We're from Minnesota. Have you touched anything? I've only switched off the stove. The policeman arrested the wife right away. Why? She said that she only touched the stove. Fingerprints on the knife? I think it's that she like cut the carrot a little and there's no knife there. Oh, so true. Yeah, she used a knife to cut the carrots so and true. also cut Mr. Mutton in half. This is the real tea. If the soup had been boiling for two hours. Give me the tea, Cassie. Give me the tea. It would have been boiled away by the moment. Mm. Ugh, awful. Didn't even think about that. I know. Which disgusting zombie freak is this girl's husband? I don't know, but... <laughs> <laughs> What? Like, how do you find these people? What clubs do you go to to find these guys? <laughs> Voldemort Club Incorporated. Freaking bald club for men? Like, what is this? We have to run? From what? Well, he's missing an arm, so I assume it's a pressing situation. Oh, man. I would not claim any of these guys as my husband if I was that girl. I think the guy with the missing arm is the husband because he's, like, saying, like, we got to go to somewhere safe. And this guy's just going, nah, let's bang. If I was that girl, I just play dumb. I just say I'd have amnesia. I'm like, I don't know you two. I don't know what I was doing before <laughs> this happened, but certainly not you. <laughs> that must have my head hard because man you guys are way uglier than i remember <laughs> oh the other freak has a wedding ring wow oh he probably lost How? his left hand with the ring no no you can't do that you, <laughs> you can't, can't do that do that to me what's wrong with you you can't say probably lost it with his lost <laughs> arm like get out of here with that ain't nobody trying to kiss those ugly zombie looking freaks uh, maybe me who knows yeah you like that kind of stuff i'm into that voldemort look you gotta do what you gotta do right yeah exactly sometimes you gotta make do with what you can get <laughs> yeah one arm man gotta do what you gotta do what's wrong here jay what's wrong there yeah What's wrong? Well, I was gonna say there's some chin pubes on that girl's chin, kind of like what I have. Kind of like what I have, but I pluck them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't <laughs> pluck them. I just wear them with pride. I'm glad that you plucked them, though. I don't see anything wrong. Yeah, there's there's nothing wrong here. It's a trick question, guys. It's 2019. <laughs> she has an Adam's apple. There's nothing wrong with that. I have an Adam's apple, honestly, and it pisses me off. Yeah, that's that's hot. That's hot. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sarcasm. Thank you. No, that's hot. <laughs> no, no. That, that's spicy. That's hot. <laughs> we love that. <laughs> What's wrong? Well, what I personally think is wrong, he's helping her fix her thing, but it doesn't need to be fixed. And he's ignoring the other girl and she's obviously mad. Wait, you know what I think's wrong? What? Are you not supposed to see the bride before you get married? Oh, that could be it Is that too. what's wrong? Yeah, you're not supposed to see the brides. <laughs> yeah, the brides. You're not supposed to see both of your brides before the... <laughs> Everyone knows that. It's standard procedure. Oh, oh get out of here. Oh, that? That's the answer we're going for? Her, Her twin, twin brother, brother was pulling, pulling a prank. prank. Uh, get out of here. Yeah, yikes. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. What if he wanted to marry him? There's nothing wrong. Maybe he did. Maybe he's like, it's just a prank. <laughs> but it, like, he meant it. He's like, it's just a prank, but I love you. <laughs> I've always loved you. It's just a prank, but come away with me. <laughs> he's like, I'm actually her brother. You don't love me unless. <laughs> unless. Mm -hmm. This could all be yours, unless. See this bulge? <laughs> hey, your wife don't have that, right? <laughs> a man was killed in his house. In his own house? In his own house house and inspector roberts examined the body thank goodness for inspector roberts oh she took the note in his hand yank she found a note in his hand with some numbers number you ready to solve it jay i feel like i know what it's gonna be ellie colin and eric there were only three people at the home it's ellie why go back to the note oh it is ellie yeah <laughs> Oh, okay, next. Uh, get me out of here. Nancy was the chef in a famous restaurant, Michelin Star. And one day, her colleagues found her dead. Uh-oh. No, why? They called the police. Oh, and Detective Gonzalez. No, 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 they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> the detective arrived and questioned all of her colleagues. No, 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 no. I can't see, no. Come on. You do the Detective Gonzalez. No, you're doing the detective. <laughs> Where were you last night? <laughs> <laughs> Nancy and I worked together in the kitchen until 10 p.m. Oh, okay, John. Very classy. Then I finished and went home. Is that okay, Detective Gonzalez? Stop. <laughs> Yesterday I got sick and didn't work. I was at home all day long. I swear, with my butcher knife. I had a headache and left early about 5 p.m. Hmm, couldn't have been me. I left with John. <laughs> We're having an affair, so... Whoa. Yeah. Is John one of the suspects? Detective Gonzalez searched the crime scene and found a message on the floor. Do we turn our heads and look at it again? I did... Boss? 
Boss did it. Boss did it. Oh, I was reading it backwards. Yeah, yeah, Boss did it. I was reading it backwards too because I thought maybe if he turned it around. So the okay, director. Okay, so director. Oh, I'm so glad there weren't any more Detective Gonzalez quotes <laughs> there. We got to be careful with the Detective Gonzalez. Gonzalez, you know? You got to use him uh, sparingly. I know. Otherwise, the specialness <laughs> wears off. He's a special man. <laughs> Boss did it! Boss did it! Who is married? How are you gonna tell who's married from who's sucking on these uh, desserts? <laughs> How are you gonna tell? I don't know if Beast's married, but does she want to be married? <laughs> are you about to propose? Let me see uh, how far that pot... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. So left hand, left ring finger, that's your marriage hand? I think it's obviously the girl in the middle. I think you were right. Yeah, yeah. She's got a, uh, that's what I meant. On a ring finger, yeah. That's what I meant. She had a... No, wait, other girl has a ring too. Hey. Yeah, but it's on the wrong thing. Oh, wait, no, it's right. Oh, oh, you're right. It was on the wrong finger, but it doesn't even matter. I knew that B was the wife. She knew how to work that popsicle a little bit. Too good. Who's more stupid? The guy sneaking into a beware of dog or the girl going, here, let me fix your jacket with an oncoming car. Yeah, at the crosswalk too. <laughs> I think the girl is more stupid. Really? Why would you put on a jacket in the middle of a crosswalk? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, stupid. Stupid. Got him. You are certified stupid. <laughs> you win the award of stupid. Alice was captured by a dangerous maniac. He was holding her hostage in his private mansion. One day, he decided to make fun of her and then kill her. Wow. I will give you a chance to get free. Just make me breakfast tomorrow. <gasps> this guy is rude. If it's good enough, I'll let you go. I can't believe this man. If it's bad... I'll kill ya! No! The next morning, Alice went to the kitchen and went, I hope he likes eggs Benedict, otherwise I am dead. <laughs> and started cooking. When she turned away from the stove... What? <gasps> what is he doing? You can't see... Yeah, you can't sabotage it. The maniac poured a whole box of salt into the pan. He's sabotaging the food! Oh. Oh, his own food too. But when Alex served breakfast, the maniac understood that he'd have to let Alice go. He went, oh, I love salt. This is some bomb cooking, girl. Yeah, he's like, damn, the moment I smelled it, I had to let you go. Okay, this is really interesting. Like, what can you cook that more salt is better? A lot. Everything. I mean, he put too much salt. Yeah, way too much salt. Oh, man. Okay, so what tastes better, the saltier it is. What does salt cook into really well that doesn't make it taste too salty? You're the expert here. I don't know anything. I just put food in my mouth. I just always feel like sometimes too much salt is just too insane. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna feel bloated and it just tastes weird. Maybe she was like boiling like a whole chicken and he like just added salt and made a nice brine. And then when she took the chicken oh. out to bake it, it like was nice and heavily seasoned. That makes sense what you just said. Uh -huh. But I was like, I was trying to listen to what you said and also think about what it could possibly be at the same time. Yeah. Are you sure it was salt? Let me make sure. Salt. A whole box of salt. Yes. Yikes. What did she cook? Well, I was gonna say like spaghetti because like heavily salted water is good, but not that much salt. Like you could definitely taste yeah. that much salt. I think that maybe she was making like pickles. Pickles what? for breakfast. No, 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 no. If uh, it was pickles, she'd be dead. I don't know. I don't know. No, we have to solve this though because no, this no, one's no. really interesting. I, I just figured. I just figured it out. I just figured it out. What? 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 He put an entire box of salt into water where she was cooking hard-boiled eggs. So there's a shell oh. around it, right? So it's not going yeah, to impact. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes! Okay, okay. If it's not eggs, Cassie, I'll be very sad. Mostly because, like, how passionate you were with the Yes! Let's go. Let's go. It had to be. Yes! Oh! Nice! Yes! hard-boiled eggs. Cassie, that was dope. I didn't think we were gonna get that, but you came in clutch. I didn't think we were gonna get that either. I was scared. Cassie clutched it, guys. Wow. Who's more stupid? The pregnant woman playing tug of war or the Martha Stewart? The other pregnant the woman going through the jungle. Oh, on her stomach too. She's dumb. B is dumb. She's oh, a dumb yeah. dumb. Yeah, she dumb. It must be full of insects. She can get an infection. Oh, boy. Oh, don't even mention that she's pregnant? All right, I guess. Yeah, why not? They're both stupid. In one city, children started disappearing. Wow. I don't like that city. Children started disappearing in the preschools. It was Irma who worked as a babysitter. No one could ever catch her. She was a plague on the city. So she moved between different schools, kidnapping children. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Irma has just gotten a job at a new school. Who keeps hiring her? Oh, that kid's crying going down the slide. Who will she kidnap? Miguel, Annabelle, or Anna? Yes. There was actually consistency of who she actually kidnapped before. Were they all boys or girls? Uh, I didn't say. Yeah. My answer is she'll kidnap any one of them. It doesn't <laughs> matter. 
<laughs> she just likes kidnapping kids. My answer is Annabelle. Why? Miguel's a crier. Anna looks confident in that she'll scream. Annabelle looks a little cool, and she's also got this weird birthmark that... Uh, yeah, Irma, Irma had that too, right? Has. Yeah. I don't know why that makes sense, but it's just, it's a similarity, so... Maybe she gets the people that have, like, little birthmarks on their face. Anna is difficult to kidnap because of the dog. Miguel is too loud. Mimi, <laughs> Mimi. <laughs> Annabelle is shy and looks like Irma. Why would you want to kidnap someone who looks like you? Wow. She will kidnap Oh, maybe Annabelle. because you can play it off like that's your kid? Oh, smart. Who is cheating on the exam? The guy with the book on his feet? Uh, oh, so this guy. He's like reading. Oh, yeah, a guy oh, with the yellow goodness. shirt. Wait, why is he standing up? Like, how does the teacher not see that? Yeah, she can't see the answers too? Like, the point is so you can see it, but not the teacher. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, wow, that is so dumb. Who is cheating on the exam? Hmm? What do you think? Oh, well, obviously this. I thought it was a tattoo, but I was like, yeah, it's kind of a bad tattoo. Yeah, a high school kid with a full leg tattoo with some writing on it. I like writing tattoos. Like scripture. Scripture? Would you get that? I would get that. Yeah, that's cute, actually. Eddie and Tim are in the same school. <laughs> Hopefully not in the same grade, because Eddie looks like he could just... Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Eddie is often very rude to younger kids. He locks them in the lockers. Yoink. Yeah, with his long arms. Slam. And damages their things. I'm going to throw your markers on the ground. <laughs> uh, this is fun for me. Tim complained to the principal about Eddie because Tim is a rat. But, you know, sometimes it's what you got to do. This is my watch. I dropped it. He's wearing my watch. Eddie saw it, ran up, and picked it up. I've been asking him to give it back all day long. Help me. This kid is a rat. He's lying. This is my watch. My father gave it to me a long time ago. Yeah, right. You don't have a father. He went to Walmart five years ago. Show me the watch. Show me the watch. Yeah, show me the money. Show me the watch. Give it, give it to me. She steals the watch. Eddie, give it back to Tim. Now. What? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? How did she know? Oh, the notch on it is at the third level. Yeah, so he had these tiny little wrists where it fit, and this guy had to punch a bigger hole. Boom. Got him. He had to make it fit because it's just a little pipsqueak wrist. Mrs. Rot was on the beach with her kids. Mikey, three. Sean, seven. And Allison, 14. Mrs. Rot went out to get some ice cream. She was parched, okay? And asked Allison to look at after the younger kids. Oh no, something's gonna happen. <laughs> when she came back, Mikey was dead. Oh, Mikey? No. And she had an ice cream for him and everything. This is brutal. He drowned in the sea. Allison! Wasn't he only three years old? The police interviewed the children. Allison, you really messed this one up. <laughs> You're in trouble. You're grounded. Well, my boyfriend called me. Like, what do you expect me to do? Hang up? And I lost sight of Sean and Mikey for a moment. I had to talk to my boyfriend. Like, look at his man bun. We love that. I would love a good man bun. When I got off the phone, Mikey was dead. Like, it's not really my fault, do you think? We were playing. He bit me and I pushed him into the water. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Who's responsible for Mikey? Mikey. I mean, um, not Mikey. The other kid. <laughs> no, it's hers because it was her responsibility to watch them. No, They're there's no bite young. mark on that kid. He probably oh. pushed him in the water. Man, you know what? Fine. It's the daughter. Really good point that there's no bite mark on him. But even if it were the case that this guy tried to kill this guy, she was responsible. You're right. There's All a right. reason the mom put the 14-year-old in charge. She shouldn't have left such little kids with a teen. Wow. <gasps> it's the mom's fault. Oh, my. Okay, adult blaming here. All right. Sorry that she wanted to get some ice cream for the family. I didn't know that 14-year-olds were, like, not to be trusted. I would trust a 14-year-old. I know, right? I was by myself at, like, 10 years old. <laughs> yeah, and you could watch the kids. I had to watch myself. I was the kid. Yeah, that makes sense. Still are. Sarah went to the store with her daughter. Oh, look how cute she is. To buy her a new toy. Spoil her rotten. Ooh, Why don't you? I know, spoiled brat. Suddenly, the light went out, and Sarah felt... Her daughter wasn't holding her hand anymore. Who was holding her hand? My daughter has been kidnapped! Maybe she just wanted to run around. Somebody turned out the light and yoinked! The police watched the surveillance footage, looking for customers. Okay, guy holding two flowers, mm -hmm. girl with a lollipop, mm -hmm. and an Asian girl with ice cream. They identified three suspects. Guy holding some candy. Girl, okay, so these are, guys are all holding treats that you could give to a kid. Yeah, what? Okay, this one's actually pretty tough. There's a bite out of this girl's ice cream, though, and, like, these two are untouched. So what do you think? I mean, if the ice cream looked that good, I would have bit a piece of that, too. <laughs> but that doesn't mean it was the little girl. That's true. Ugh, I don't know. Two bags of candy guy. Why? Because he has two bags of candy. Okay, I don't trust him either. We're gonna go with two bags of candy. He has too many bags, this guy. Yes! 
If you have too many bags, you're. Ca oh wait, he couldn't grab the girl. Okay, so he oh, didn't oh, oh. do whoops, it. Whoops. Yep. Never mind. She bought it for herself because there's a bite taken out, and this girl, the lollipop, she could lure the girl with the lollipop. I mean, that's not really. Uh, Cassie, yeah, you could use that excuse for all the other ones. <laughs> like he bought extra bags of candy to lure the girl. She bought like a three layered ice cream to lure the girl. Could have used that for all of them. That's very a very true. A very very true. It's a very, very true. Thanks for stopping by, Je. No problem. No problem. Let's go to your channel and do more. And if there aren't more, then just do something about it. Do whatever you want, guys. It's your world. Yeah, it's your world. We're just living in it.